four shots, the guy takes him down. Birthday party or something, he's great. Siéntese, jefe. Eat. You're wasting away before my eyes. <laughs> A ver, mijito. This is the special of tonight, eh? Ma. Mm. Look at this. We can't use them. The whole order is like this. And you didn't check before you signed for them? That's $400 worth of avocados, mijito. Hey, it's margarita night, right? That always puts us in the black, so. Yeah. Right? Yeah, yeah. All right. <laughs> we owe the vendor money. He's making a point. I'll go call him. No, mijita. I'll call him. I'm leaving in the morning, but I want him to know that I'm on to him. Hace mucho tiempo. Uh, I know. I'm sorry. This is Detective Shepard. Nice to meet you. So where's Mama Reina? She left this morning. She still drives down to Jalisco every year to see the family. <laughs> Let me get you a table. We're not here for lunch. I'm afraid we have some bad news. We're talking private? Uh, yeah. How long did Ryan work here? It's been almost two years. So you both knew him pretty well. Y yeah, yeah. The, uh... Customers really liked him. He's definitely going to be missed. Was there any trouble in the bar last night? Any problems with the customer? No, nothing. Are you opening a new Don Casas? Yeah. Well, my little brother Danny is. It'll be an exact copy of this one over on the west side. So business is pretty good, huh? Um, uh, I think Mama would want us to close the restaurant tonight out of respect for Ryan. We could talk about that later, Berto. Uh, what time did Ryan leave last night? Um, after cleaning and closing, maybe 2.30? He always deposited his cash after margarita night. He didn't trust himself with that much cash. Why is that? He had an old girlfriend that was an addict. She needed money to feed her meth habit. And he gave it to her. Was he using as well? No, no, that's why they broke up. But he had a hard time saying no if she needed money. And he finally cut her off like two months ago. Dana. Her name is Dana Jackson. I just saw Dana Jackson told us some things about Ryan and about you. Is it true that you were dating? If my mother ever finds out, she Felix, doesn't need to know. Your mother wouldn't have approved. He's not Latino. He doesn't have a college degree. And you always respect your mother's wishes. We all do. Mama Reina is the head of the family. She's the queen. You know her, Felix. Did Ryan ever tell you that he used to work for drug dealers? Yes, but that was a long time ago, and he was through with all that stuff. Did anybody else in the restaurant know about his past? No, they would have told Mom, and she would have kicked him out. She was hard enough on him as it was. Did he give you that? Uh, hey, Felix, there's somebody out here I want you to say hi to. car was just on the street like that? All torn up? I'm afraid so. Who would want to hurt her? We are hoping you could tell us. I'm sorry, I'm mighty well. I wish we had better news. I, uh, I have a quick question about your finances. I know that you've been having problems. What did Danny do when he found out that the restaurant was losing money? He asked Mama to shut us down so he could finance the new restaurant, but she said no. no Mom would never do that. This place is our family's heritage. Uh, Danny could get financing some other place. He's good at that stuff. Yeah. All right. Uh, one more quick question. Uh, what happened to the rug that was that was here, right? I mean, there it is in the picture. It's just, it was here? Where'd it go? Um, I, I don't know. I just figured Danny was having it copied for the new place. Oh, I'm sure, I'm sure that's it. All right. Excuse me. 
Hey, Shaw. SID says your dust from the construction site is a mix of drywall, sandy ground soil, primer paint flakes, among other things. Does it match the dust they found on Raina Costa's car? To the grain. All right, great. I'll call you later, OK? Her car was just on the street like that? All torn up? I'm afraid so. Who would want to hurt her? We're hoping you could tell us. I'm sorry, Mighty Soul. I wish we had better news. I, uh, I have a quick question about your finances. I know that you've been having problems. What did Danny do when he found out that the restaurant was losing money? He asked Mama to shut us down so he could finance the new restaurant, but she said no. no Mom would never do that. This place is our family's heritage. Uh, Danny could get financing some other place. He's good at that stuff. Yeah. All right. uh, one more quick question. Uh, what happened to the rug that was that was here, right? I mean, there it is in the picture. It's just, it was here? Where'd it go? Um, I, I don't know. I just figured Danny was having it copied for the new place. Oh, I'm sure, I'm sure that's it. All right. Excuse me. Hey, Shaw. SID says your dust from the construction site is a mix of drywall, sandy ground soil, primer paint flakes, among other things. Does it match the dust they found on Raina Costa's car? To the grain. All right, great. I'll call you later, OK? Daniel Casas, you're under arrest for the murder of Raina Casas. Cuff him. Get him out of here. You're on the run for Let's go. What? He couldn't have done it alone. I mean, she was too heavy in that rug. It took two men to lift her out of there. So if he didn't do it alone, the question is, who helped him? Mr. Casas? We'll call Valdez. Felix, do you want me to do this? you this, I know how important that was to you. What's he doing here? Please have a seat. I wanted you both to hear this. <clears throat> Our tests have concluded that the gun Alberto used to kill himself 
was the same gun that killed Ryan Laughlin and your mother. Do either of you have any idea why your brother would do all of this? No. Do you think that he could pull it off on his own? Because he either did or he wanted it to look that way. I love Berto, but he couldn't get a drink order straight, let alone do something like this. Don't talk about him like that. You're just like mom treating Alberto like a child. He devoted his life to the restaurant, to mom. But she always passed him over for you. Yes, but you devoted your life to the restaurant and to your mom, so you must have felt passed over too. My mom believed in me. Oh, yes, I'm sure she did. But she gave the restaurant to Danny. Our mom liked to play us against each other. If we don't live up to her ideals, she would cut us down to nothing. Says the golden boy. I saw her do it to you, Marisol. To Berto. That's why I stayed away for so long. Yeah, but you were happy to come back and get permission to open the new restaurant. He certainly was. You know what's funny? I wanted to start the new restaurant so you and Alberto would have something to fall back on if the old place fell. I wanted to keep us together. Look how well that turned out. Don't put this on me. Put it where it belongs. So this is my fault? But she wasn't a mother. She was a monster. Oh, God, honey, don't speak ill of the dead. All right, so uh, let me see if I have this correctly. Um, Danny went off by himself, and Alberto had his wife and kids. But you, you weren't even allowed to love the person that you wanted to love. All your mother gave you was the desk beside her, so all of your hard work, all of your sacrifice. And at the end of the day, your mother chose Danny over you. Alberto killed himself to protect someone. Now, was that someone you? Hmm? Did Alberto help you bury your mother under the new restaurant? I loved my mother. Danny was supposed to take the fall, wasn't he? I mean, that was the plan. No. But Alberto didn't want to hurt his little brother, and he wanted to protect you. So what did he do? He killed himself. Your mom was going to close the old restaurant, wasn't she? We didn't have enough money for both. I told her I could save it. I could make the old one work, but she just looked at me. And she said I could never be who she was. That it took something that I'd never have. What was that? She never got the chance to tell you. I don't even remember grabbing the gun from behind the bar. Alberto came running in when he heard it. And he helped me clean things up, get Mama into the trunk of the car. But then Ryan came back. He forgot his bag, and he saw that the gun was missing, the rug was missing, there was blood on the bar. And he started asking questions. Alberto said he'd take care of it because I couldn't do it. So Alberto killed Ryan and tried to make it look like a robbery. He was supposed to get rid of Mama's car too, but poor Alberto screwed that up. 